Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? All right, I'm 2 Chain. Welcome to TWA, Tyler Morse. Nice to meet you, Tyler. Nice to meet you as well. You want me to call you Mr. Chains? I love Mr. Chains. Yeah? We're going with Mr. Chains. Today's episode, Mr. Chains and Mr. Tyler. Mr. Chains yeah. does TWA. Now tell me what TWA stands for. Trans World Airlines. OK, and am I in an airport right now? You're not. You're in a hotel. But this is a former TWA terminal. This was the original cathedral to aviation. It was built by Howard Hughes when he owned TWA. It was designed by Aero Saarinen, who did the St. Louis Arch, wow. the tulip table, the tulip chair, all the stuff that we sit on these days. Okay. And Howard Hughes, he was the richest guy in the world. He called Aero Saarinen and said, I want the greatest airplane terminal the world's ever seen, and I don't care how much it costs. This was the product of that. This is a spectacular airplane terminal. It was functionally obsolete the day it opened what? in 1962. Too small. Really? Well, they used it. But as you can see, everybody uh, came into the building that way. The baggage claim was invented right there. But it only held 20 bags. Too small. Now, yeah. we have functional it's a Solari board, split flap board. It, and this is from the 60s? No, I had this remade okay. to mirror the exact one that was here in 1962. You got to go to Venice okay. and drive two hours north, uh, and they will sell this to you for two million bucks. That's all? Two million bucks. Two million. It's essentially a clock. I love it. I look at all the vintage logos, right? Yeah, Those are all the ones from 1962. That was the year we opened. We actually trademarked the year 1962 for this project. How can you do that? Oh. I called the US Patent and Trademark Office and I trademarked it. I own the year 1962. How the hell? <laughs> Godspeed, John Glenn. Nine. The Cuban crisis of 1962. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Marilyn Monroe is dead at 36. <laughs> How? How? How did y'all let this man own this? How? <laughs> did you come in and do a lot of renovating yourself, or did you try to leave some of the details? We renovated this building to exactly as it was in 1962. OK. There's 6,548,000 of these penny tiles. And you notice they're on the vertical surfaces uh, uh, as well. Yeah. See, they surround the Solari board here. They were laid one thumb at a time. One thumb at a time. One thumb at a time. How much would that process run, you know, your average Joe? It's probably five bucks a thumb. Five bucks a thumb times six million. Do the math. Just for the floor. Just for the floor. Wow. Let's look around. Yeah. With the Solari board. And this is the airport on the other side. Correct, that's the JetBlue terminal. This has to be the coolest thing in the world. So we built two buildings next to it. These two towers that I'm watching. That are 512 keys. We had to dig out there under the runway. That goes down four stories. That's actually the roof of a four-story building. That's already amazing. Am I the only one just finding out about this? I, I feel like I am. I feel like I'm late to the party. How many people, like, annually? What do you see coming in on these doors? Uh, we see 100,000 people a week. So about 5 million people a year. This airport hotel is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Thank All you. Right. We're going upstairs now. Yeah. Not the pay phones. Oh, my goodness. The authentic pay phones. You can put a dime in there, too. Do you have a dime? Who has a dime? What else we got? We built our own power plant for this project. We're completely off of the electrical grid. We have a battery pack up there. It's kind of like this project is powered by a Tesla. What? And it never goes off. What would something like that cost to get done? That was close to 20 million bucks. I replaced every window in this building as well. So I had to put in tempered glass. This building from a distance, you can see a green aura. That's because of the lead content. Mm. So I had to match that lead content exactly. And uh, every single pane is different from every other pane in size. And that sounds like a pain. <laughs> <laughs> This tunnel this is wild? crazy. Catch this... me if you can. This is 
crazy. This is the famous scene where uh, Tom Hanks catches Leo. I gotta show you the pool as the Ooh. sun is setting. What? Well, look at that sunset. So that's runway four left and 22 right over there. I actually uh, see planes, so this is a vibe. So if you're down in the pool, you're just watching the planes take off and land. I love it. See, there's a uh, big piece of heavy metal coming in from Europe. OK. Oh, he's probably going to uh, Atlanta. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your ride. Wait, come back. Stepping on my road. He has to get away from my stuff. Get away from her stuff right now. Thank you. Stepping on her road. Wait. He, she doesn't even know you. I don't know any of you, but you have no right to do that. I agree. and 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 we don't know you either. Well. <laughs> Lady, all right, be good. Grouchy ass old people. Old white people, it'd be, that's what it'd be. Grouch. Get out of here for care and call the police. Be mean for no reason. Just angry lady. Fuck my mood up. Well, I just don't be fucking with that energy, man. And then the robe she's talking about is the one that you gave her at the hotel. It's not her personal Versace robe. It's the white one that he clearly didn't try to step on. They filmed Ocean's 8 here as well. Was Rihanna in that one? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was. Hey, darling, how are you? Oh, thank you so nice. I love that. Way to be nice. There's some mean of all the white people up there. Y'all are nice. Thank y'all. <laughs> she called me handsome, too. You beautiful, baby. Come here. That's right. Give me a hug. That's right. Give me a hug. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Great drama on the roof. Yeah. Somebody love this cologne. <laughs> See, the all world right, so loves me. And when you don't, and that plane used to be Air Force One. Wow. So you'll appreciate this. So that actual plane, it was an Alaskan bush plane for about 10 years. Then it was bought by a bunch of South American drug dealers. Uh, and they ferried uh, weed and cocaine on that plane from Colombia to Miami really? for another 10 years. It flies low and slow. So they put a cargo door on the back side of it and they'd airdrop weed. So ran drugs, uh, those are your peeps. <laughs> that has more history in it than anything on this property. That's Sorry. legendary. And you just have it sitting in the backyard of your... Oh, it's a cocktail bar. Functional. Oh, yeah. All Let's right. go get a drink. Welcome. All right. Smells like y'all are drinking on here. What's up, Cliff? How are you? Hey. Good. I think we got to do it. You going to go on the wing? No, uh, let's do it. Oh, I got to go through the window? Yeah. How'd you think we were going to get out of the wing? This is the emergency exit. They don't pay me that much. You got to be doing all this old shit, y'all. Especially with the old ad mean lady. All right, we out here on a huge wing. Hopefully, no one slips off. It's more fun out here. Oh, we got some bounce on it. Hell no. Nah. I ain't fucking with that. Look like a little scale, kind of. You know, the thing is, I feel like if anything happened to me, I would be OK. And I know you have the money to make sure that my family will be just so happy with you tricking me to come out on this damn wing. I'll drive you to the hospital. You're not. <laughs> As you can see, this place is huge. It's very creative, done by one of the best developers out here on the face of this earth. I appreciate you for showing me around. Definitely didn't know what I was getting myself into, but this is very cool. And I want all y'all to check it out when you come to JFK. Most expensive is, I'm your host, Two Shines.